guys, welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 3. Last time we finished up everything else in the game and headed to Zorn's body or Zorn's shell or whatever the hell this place is. It's basically Sermania. It doesn't seem like we're inside a demon. Uh, you know, unlike uh, previous Grandia games where we actually got that. This time, the last two treasures we can get are Sage's Robe and a Hero's Elixir. Now, as for the Queen's Heels, uh, no. Um, I hate the drop rate in this game, even with Legendary uh, Thief on. I farmed these guys for half an hour and I got nothing. In my test run, I was able to get it, but uh, this time around, not so much. And I'm sick and tired of going after it. Ah, uh, here we have Prevent Silence. Yeah, we're gonna put that on Donna because that would be a really good idea and it gives her a bunch more defense, which she already needs. Um, uh, one thing I did get while I was uh, off screen is instead of getting uh, the items that I was actually trying to get, I got a bunch of power seeds instead. Basically, once I was like, all right, I'm kind of giving up on these uh, Queen's heels, I just fought around until they drop a seed and then Take the seed and run with it. Yeah, unfortunately, the drop rate for a lot of the rare equipment is really, really rare. Uh, that was all 12 of the items that we could get there. Now we need to head to the heart of the underground maze, which means more maze. Yay! Well, the first part wasn't so bad. That doesn't seem all that bad. It's not the last point in time where we can fight those guys. It's just that particular spot there, hello, is probably the best opportunity you have to uh, grind against the Calibus enemies for the Queen's Heels, but you can still get it, you know, later on as well. All right, so here we have Maiden's Dress. Um, can you use that? You cannot. What about you? You also cannot. Hmm, I wonder why no one can equip it. I'm not, it's called Maiden's Dress. I'm not going to give it to the guys and see if they can equip it. I think it's pretty obvious who's going to get that in the end, but I won't spoil it if you haven't figured it out yet. And no, I haven't forgotten the other thing that uh, I was talking about before, the thing that I said would be a spoiler if I mentioned it, uh, an error I made, it was just something I said. Hello. Well, we'll show this off one more time. Why not? He'll probably run away before I get a chance to move anyway. No, he actually didn't. Um, Galactic Bang. Ha! Huh. Down from the heavens, Galactic Bang. Let's see what I can get out of this guy. Yeah, not that it really matters at this point. You could get another uh, Hurricane Belt if you really want that. Mon emblems really aren't that uh, worthwhile. Uh, Galactic Bang. Taste the rain of fire! The rain of fire, huh? Mm, sorry about that. Uh, silent because I was closing doors and dealing with people. The destruction card. Let's see. I do like the the Lucky Mink as a kind of a novelty type of enemy. I guess it's kind of a callback to like earlier JRPGs like Dragon Quest series, the Metal Slime, and other types of enemies like that. I guess uh, Legend of Dragoon has those types of enemies as well, with those special enemies. And the thing is, I'm not going to get another move off if he goes to run on his next turn. But, now well, well, at least I did one damage to him. Now go for normal attack. No. Bye bye. Not that it really matters. I just figured I'd show right. him because it's kind of unique. I like the Lucky Mink. I, even though it's based around a really high drop rate, I still kind of like him because he's. It's not like he's. Damn. Oh, I thought it glitched out there for a second. Because it. I don't know. It just. It's nice having a different type of fight. Uh, one of the things you'll notice around here as you're fighting the enemies, specifically uh, these guys, uh, because their uh, Buster Horn attack can inflict uh, confusion on you, is that the enemies around here are actually pretty deadly. 
Uh, one of the previous battles did have two of these guys in there. It's probably the best uh, fight to go into, but yeah. Dynamic Dawn is canceling, does lots of damage. Um, they're so fast now that if I do Big Wheel here, they're still gonna get off their move for... Really? No one can stop when I was fighting them off, scream that never happens. Whatever. Huh, what a rush! But yeah, uh, maybe it's uh, just when they go for Buster or hey, oh, another seed, I'll take it. You'll notice that I haven't used any of the uh, seeds that I've already obtained. So, but uh, yeah, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna basically spam them all before we go into the final boss. Actually, I could probably use them now. Sure, we'll use some of them now. Um, life seed. I will give some of those to Donna. Some on you. Uh, power seed. Couple on you. Couple on you. Defense seed on you. Oops. Let's see what else? Smart seed is magic. We'll. Uh, yeah, I'll use a couple on you. Spirit seed. Resistances. Eh, I give one to you, two to you, why not? Uh, speed seed, we're gonna hold off on. Uh, I'll hold off on the rest of them. I'll do other things with them later. Uh, wait, I'm going backwards now, aren't I? Yes, I am. But yeah, the, whoever you use the, uh, the seeds on doesn't really matter. You can use them in battle too to restore SP. So there's that option if you're uh, kind of interested in that but uh, it's entirely up to you. This part of the maze is not, oh, hold up a sec here. I probably want to take Beast Hunter off, which I had on to make my life a little easier against uh, those guys. And we should probably put Burst Hunter back on. That would uh, make things a little, little easier around here. But uh, there are lots of enemies. And because there's pretty much, you're pretty much at the end of the game at this point, you can kind of see how much damage you can deal here if you want to. Uh, let's see, we'll keep working on that. Yay, that works. Cancel both of them. Uh, Verse Hunter on her is pretty good too, as I said before, just because of... Hey, were they even trying? Uh, because she gets the ability to come back here to uh, kill enemies really easily with things like Armageddon, especially in a battle like this. But these guys are so fast a lot of the time that you're not going to get a lot of moves off. And Omega Vulcan moves on the gauge really, really quickly. So uh, be very careful if you're trying to deal with them. Let's see here. That's four or five. But yeah, they can outspeed Ulf on there. Ulf's already pretty fast. But uh, you're not going to get a lot of battles without uh, taking any damage anymore. It's just not really going to happen. It does happen from time to time, especially if you can get your attack off before anyone else. But uh, yeah, especially when these guys are involved, Omega Vulcan's just so fast. All right, we did it! But yeah, leaving Legendary Thief on just means everyone's going to drop a whole lot of everything, and we don't need most of it. Oh, there's a Crimson Potion that I didn't really need. I wonder if we're getting somebody. I wonder if we're getting somebody. Hmm. Yeah, they're uh, none too subtle in this game. But uh, anyway, let's see here. There are a lot of floors, a lot of little areas to sneak into around here. So just be kind of very vigilant uh, using your... What do we got here? Don't need that. Use your square button so that you can find where the items are because there are a lot of them. And also note, there are side rooms uh, that get you from floor to floor as well. So chances are you will find a bunch of them. So there was two items there, uh, or two items in the previous room. That's two items so far here. And this will be three and four leading us to six of the 12 remaining items in the game. Uh, so there should only be six left at this point. 
Now the way I like to explore around here is I like to do all of the uh, outside areas first and then I'll go and do all the side rooms all at once and just make it easier at that point. Now, spending a lot of time in fights right now, probably not your favorite move to do because the enemies are reasonably powerful. So anytime you have a chance of annihilating enemies in one move and finishing them off and getting an excellent, go for it. Wow, two C's in one fight. That is rather impressive. It's also rather rare, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so really, really fast. I want to cancel them from doing that, card. if at all possible, just because it's a long animation and it takes too long. I want to run through fights as quickly as possible at this point. Finish as many things off as I can. Wow, I'm actually getting excellence in the final dungeon. That doesn't happen all that often. All right, you can hear somebody around here. He's uh, making a bit of noise. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, hello. Yeah, see uh, him. In order to get over there, I don't think... Oh no, we can get over there. Okay, never mind. It's, uh, yeah, this is how they, I guess, constitute this as being a little bit of a maze because it's hard to uh, figure out exactly where you can go and where you can't go before you head into all of those side rooms. And he's going to do runner. I don't want you to do runner, so no. Now I could just, you know, show off or not show any of the... Uh, the remaining battles in the game, but, uh, well, there are still a couple of new enemies, actually. I think we've seen... Face the flames of judgment. We've seen that Gigas, he dropped the Fed Seed, we've seen the Anton in this video, we've seen the Pico in this video, the Zepthal somewhere along the way, I think he was in a boss fight or something like that, and then huh. Calibus Down we've seen, heavens. Demon Lord Directed we've seen, bang. which means there's only two enemies that we haven't seen, and both of those are very important enemies because they can both drop ultimate weapons for two of our characters. And he's gone. Yeah, trying to kill those guys without the Nama's Orb, not really your best bet. You could use the Nama's Orb if you want to, but there's another battle that I'm going to save that for. And I think uh, what I've decided to do is use the... Um, Use the last orb. Have we seen the healing one yet? I know I used the damage one. Have I used the healing one? Crap, I can't remember if I've used the healing one. I, I intended on showing off all of the different orbs that we can get in the game. Okay, we already went up there. Yeah, this area gets really confusing at this point. So there, we've made it to the, we started here. We're going down. I keep thinking I'm going up, but no, I'm going down. Okay, let's try this again. See if I can figure out where it is I'm going. Very easy to get lost. Ah, I found a new enemy, which means I'm going the right way. But I think uh, showing off some of the enemies at the end of the game gives you kind of a, an idea of how my strategy has evolved. You can still use Baboom if you want to. Um, I think you can one-shot these guys with Verse Hunter on with uh, this ability this anyway. Sting a little. Aw, you got your attack off. Fortunately, Donovan's a little on the slow side here. The fear card. I pity you. Well, they're gone. But Boom usually takes out all of the minor verse realm enemies uh, in one shot if you go for it. Uh, by the way, the demon lords are immune to fire. Uh, they take like zero or one damage from it. Uh, so don't use Baboom on them. Forgot to mention that when we were down there. Uh, free, feel free to use Warrior's Tonics on your characters at pretty much any point uh, throughout the final dungeon. Don't worry about that. So that's five items left now. What else have we got here? What's uh, up on this side over here? Nothing over there. Go up this side. We haven't been up this side yet. Probably an item. Okay, we have been up this side. 
Okay. Let's uh, start by exploring the side ones there. There should be uh, five treasures left. Hi. Oh, look at that. You brought friends with you. Lots of friends. Um... What do I want to do here? I think I want to howl NATO you so you guys don't get a, a turn here. And you're going to cancel. Yeah, see, this does a lot of damage and can really limit uh, what you're able to do really, really quickly. Um, you're going to go do bad out of hell. That's fine. Whatever. Not uh, particularly worried about you. But yeah, they love to go really, really fast and cancel everything you want to do. Uh, it doesn't actually counter, but it's... It stops you from getting your move off, and by the time you do get your move off, chances are they've moved way out of position, and it's not nearly as fun as it uh, would have been earlier. As you can see, yeah, Ulf is taking a huge beating here over and over and over again, and he's never really going to get his move off. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to heal in this dungeon, definitely. The, uh, the first time we've had like a really, really a big longer, difficulty everyone. spike in quite some time. Of course, it makes sense to give us a big difficulty spike right before the end. Am I going to hit only no one, one with this? Now. Well, that's sad. All that what time, much? multiple people got attacks in before you, and you hit one enemy with an attack that should be hitting everybody. And yeah, they love to go for this one too, which also does a lot of damage. Enough enough. And they're just so fast that you can easily take multiple deaths in a fight against enough a lot of these guys uh, without uh, without a lot of trouble Maybe at all. So uh, be very prepared for these fights. And especially if you don't have Beast Hunter on, you're just not gonna deal enough damage to take them down all that fast. Right. So. We did it go into the fights prepared and healed ahead of time. Can I get some of these potions? Now, they also drop rare potions if you're interested in that. I, I, bothered, I didn't bother to mention any of the potions that they can drop. Hello! Spirit Boots! I like Spirit Boots. Spirit Boots! 20 initiative, 20 move, don't care. Halves all elemental damage. Very nice addition. Now the thing is, they do not have warp movement, so in normal battles, I don't really care for them all that much. However, boss time, when we're not doing as many uh, normal attacks, it becomes a lot more useful. Okay, this is it. If they don't... Okay, I'm running away from this fight. Do not everybody run away from this fight. I suppose this is a sort of victory. Okay, let, let, let's try this again. And now I didn't get the... Yeah, lovely. You get Runner going. You're gonna go bye-bye. Alright, so, Unama's Orb. Let's freeze these guys in place here. This is kind of the real purpose of using an Amazorb, in my opinion, uh, is to stop these guys so that you can actually kill them. And this is, well, I'm not sure. There might be a battle where you can run into more than just these ones, uh, but everyone should have Astraea's app for this fight. And let's see, more Astraea's app. Because it's hits everyone, hits multiple heavens. times. Best way of uh, doing that. There might be a battle where you can run into more of these guys. Um, but uh, I can't remember if there is or not. Alright. Um, I'm actually going to use an item and use a golden feather to move everybody this? else on the gauge so that I get more movements in uh, without uh, the orb running out on me. 
because I can always heal plenty of MP once this uh, battle has evil. finished. But yeah, your, your best bet if you're trying to farm for experience probably isn't this, but it is definitely an interesting path if you want to go about it. Feel the power of the heavens! There we go. Now I'm going to throw fast forward on because we're just basically casting this same spell over and over and over again. Alright, so you're out of MP. So, let's see here. So, lots for you. No. Golden Feather. How about this? I keep trying to get that off, but uh, Donna has, uh, I think, the, the fast never... movement or something like that with items, and so she's getting it off before the people that are going in front of her, which isn't exactly how I would like that to go. This divine light will purge the earth of evil. Let's see how many of these guys I can actually kill before that orb runs out. Feel the power of the heavens. Got uh, a couple of them down to get here. Oh, two down. And I got a book out of it. Lovely. Galactic Bang. The destruction card. Face the flames. I only have uh, Fire Mastery equipped for this area because for the most part, other than this fight, the only one that we really need to worry about. Uh, Dynamite Rush. Because he has increased drop rate, so we might get lucky and get something useful. Oh, we did get something useful. So yeah. Huge amounts of experience. Yeah. And I got a Mana Emblem, a Hurricane Belt, and a Lucky Book all from the same fight. And that is ridiculously lucky considering that's like one of every drop he has. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Mana Emblem, yeah. Restores 10% of MP at the end of combat. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's there. And let's see, Hurricane Belt. We already had one of those. And then we got another uh, Lucky Book. Woo! Look at all the extra stuff. All right, so that was five. So there should be four chests remaining. And I should probably do some healing around here. Uh, all right, all healed up. Let's open up this one here. Now, in order to charge up your orb, you have to fight a number of battles. And just so you can kind of see the orb isn't all uh, colorful there on the side, I'm going to fight most of these battles off since we've already kind of seen them, but the orb is no longer an option. So just take that into consideration before you use it. All right, finished off uh, those couple of fights there. You can't hold Miracle Elixirs anymore. I've got a lot of those uh, really powerful ones. Uh, Mystic Potion maxed out on those. Azure Potion. Got almost maxed those. Spirit potions are ridiculous, but uh, we're closing in on, or we, have, we only have the one of those. I think there's only like two in the game. Hero's Elixir, Miracle Elixir, we max that out. So that's all we'll ever need to use if we're, uh, if we're dying in like a boss fight from now to the end of the game. Very nice. And Golden Elixir, we got four of those. I think you can sell those for a lot of money too, but we don't really need money anymore now, do we? All right, so that's coming out on that side. There should be, since I got another chest there, that is how many chests? I think there's, what, three left that we need to uh, grab? So let's go over here. Is this the other side, or did I already come in over here? Ah, new enemies. All right, finished off those two fights there. Here we get Spirit Armor. Now, Spirit Armor just has a huge amount of defense now. I believe it's Yuki only, yeah. So uh, we'll give that to him, give him huge amounts of defense. We'll give the Phalanx back to you since I had moved things around off screen there. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for that. So there's nothing else in there. So I think there's what, two treasure chests left? Unless my count is wrong. All right, finished off those guys. And what are we getting here? Spirit Elixir, yeah, I think that's the uh, second and only other Spirit Elixir you can get in the game. And then over here, I believe we've now been everywhere, maybe? 
Maybe we've been everywhere. I, yeah. Where was that? There's an item around here somewhere. Where'd it go? No. Where is it? I just heard it. Where is it? I can hear it. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I don't even remember off the top of my head where exactly that is located. Is that uh, this way? Oh, that's all that is. Never mind. Because, yeah. Nope. Oh no, this is the other side. Okay, never mind. Can I walk on that now? There we go. So yeah, we've made it through uh, past the uh, the first set there. Now we're on the other side. Oh no. I unlocked those already. That is weird. Thought we got through the other side, but I guess not. Okay, so I think we've got all the treasures. I'll go back in the footage and double check before we uh, before we get a chance to go on. We have been up this side, have we not? Yes, just chest is open. Okay, so let's go down to the main exit from this area if I can find it. Now this area is a pain to try and navigate through just because it it seems like you've gone all the different places, but it's hard to know for sure. Ah, yes. I remember there being something down here. So there was one more left. My count was right before. And finally, Rainbow Heels. I don't think they're as good as Queen's Heels, but uh, yeah, 24 initiative. Better than what she had on before. So, mainly because she doesn't need warp, but there we go. And nothing else there. So we have the lift to go to the Cursed Tower. <laughs> Amelia! Oh, wait a minute. You have my thanks. Emilius, Growl, you betrayed me. He has a name. Actually, you were essential to my plan. However, things weren't quite as simple as you might have thought they were. Funny how life can be like that. <laughs> Amelius! <laughs> Behold... Zorn! The Magnificent! No one... will be able to stand in my way now. <laughs> the world shall be mine, now and forevermore! Zorn! Fill me with your divine power! That was something. Amelius! I always thought of my blood as a kind of prison. But now... Yeah, 
they um they just kind of did that they decided oh Amelia is not quite evil enough we need to have somebody usurp him be more evil for two seconds and then we're just going to kill him off and give Amelius this uh, beginning of some kind of redemption storyline at the end of the game. We're at the end of the game now. It's pretty close to over at this point. Uh, but there are a few other things that we can do. Does it look like I can go this way? I wonder where that would actually lead. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, that should be all of the treasure that we can gain in the game. Um, and now we just have this final hallway, really, before we can get to the end. And based on the fact that we've seen somebody who looks like that before, and he was powerful even then, that should tell you what we're going to have to deal with before moving on. But anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.